Thanks for tuning in to your day off podcast, hosted by your boys, Corey and Tony. I think by the end of today, I might have another best friend. They're committed to making you fall in love with the hair industry, one podcast at a time. Uh, you're going to grab a lot of information. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot. Presented by Hair Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your day off podcast will begin after a word from our sponsors. Hey, welcome to your day off. My name is Corey, and today I'm sitting with my friend Katie May. Katie is um, also our event director, and for the next few weeks, um, we're going to do a series of, of how we book our events and how we uh, listen. Over the last few years, we've had a ton of people um, either DM us or we've had tons of conversations about how to throw an event, what to do to throw an event, ha- how to meet people at a, uh, to throw your events and stuff. So for the next few weeks, Katie and I are going to kind of break it up. Um, we're, we're just going to kind of do these short segments about how we approach um, doing an event. It certainly isn't the only way, but it's the way that that, that we've done. And, and more importantly, um, at the end of this series, you're going to get seven years of event experience and um, in, in what we've learned. So, you know, if you, if you like events, whether it's an event that's in your salon or whether you want to do a big event or or, or, or whatever you want to do, I'm sure that you'll, uh, you'll find some um, really, really helpful and useful values uh, in this series. So, uh, uh, well, Katie, well, welcome, man. Hey, I'm excited. Uh, We have a lot to share, which is why we wanted to get going on creating this and giving you guys little um, episodes that are um, peeks into what we've been going through for the last seven years and what we've known the industry has needed Mm -hmm. and is asking for. And now I feel like it's finally um, everyone else is getting on the same page. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's really cool because Pivot Point just did a a white paper uh, study about you know how the industry is absorbing education uh, post uh, pandemic and 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 Katie and I were like we were kind of doing the like the little the little kid dance because everything on there um, we we've kind of we you know what's interesting is is we've been telling people for years that this is how the industry what the industry needs and how they need it and then it's really cool um it's not it's no longer opinion but there's an actual mm-hmm. study there's a, there, there's a pivot point study that that kind of backs up you know how we've done it and what we've done um for all that so you know it, as far as like a, a ego puff it, 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 it was pretty cool it was like, oh, we are onto the right i know thing. i had this moment of like oh my gosh we're right we're right, right. And, <laughs> and, 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 yeah you're right you know you're right and we were right in this situation. However, it, it, it's only right because it's what the industry, uh, uh, it, it's their wants and desires as far as a show goes or as far as an event goes. But, um, but uh, you know, listen, tune in for the next few weeks. We are definitely going to be uh, to be giving you all, all the tea on how we do events. And I mean, I'm talking about we're even going to do some stuff about, you know, how, how, to, how, how to create brand relationships and how to create artist relationships. You know, just, just the stuff that, that, that we've done. Um, um, over the years that, that that's been helpful and been successful for us. Yeah. Like where to find money and sponsors where location, like that's really important. You know, how, um, how big you mean by location, everything where it is, like if it's at a school or if you rent somewhere or, you know, um, or if it's going to be in Florida or (laughs) outside of the state that you're in, you know, whatever, like all the things, there's so much to consider, um, in just location and you know how to stay organized with that kind of stuff. I mean, we, um, we have planned a bunch where we've been fortunate enough to be in Frederick for a lot of them, which is where we are. And so we, um, you know, utilize a lot of our relationships that we have and things like that. But, you know, being a hairdresser's behind the chair and then doing this podcast and getting to go out to a bunch of events and and the big ones, you know, we all know they can be kind of overwhelming and overstimulating and things like that. But something that's so amazing is how we all are together in one place and can pick each other's brains and network and see the holes and see, you know, things that are missing or that we can be more impactful about. And that, I mean, that's kind of how we started talking about doing events where even before COVID, it was like, we need the intimacy. We need really impactful, you know, getting closer to these people who are normally on main stage and having more access to them. We need, you know, more community 
we, we need to feel more community. And, you know, th that's what we want to share with you. We want to share how we've gotten here and we're still learning a lot, but we really want to help set everyone else up so that they can be successful too with this. Yeah. I think, I think it's really important to also point out that like, uh, yeah, we're going to teach you what we've learned in the last seven years, but you know, for the next seven years, I'm sure there's going to be equal or even better learns um, in that process. Um, and, and I mean, I mean, you're absolutely right. Like, like, you know, just the location where you have it, how you do it, you know, all those are important, but most important thing that you said was it's about the relationships, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, here, here's the end. I mean, here's the last line of the book is that it's all about the relationships. You know, um, there's no one that when you're planning an event, there's no one that you don't have a relationship with, whether that's, that's the attendee, whether that's the artist, whether that's the brands, let me say that again, whether that's the brands and what those relationships are you know a little a little uh, a little uh, sneak peek now is that um all brand relationships are brands with people you know, you you don't have a brand, you don't have a relationship with Framar, you don't have a relationship with Babelish, you don't have a relationship with, with with any of these brands. You have relationships with the people that are inside of these brands, and that's both amazing and at times challenging because you know those relationships can also change brands or they can change. But when your relationship inside of a company then changes brands or changes whatever, now you have another relationship inside of another brand, which is also like such a such a such a golden horseshoe, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Like, sure. like you get to expand that way. Um, but, you know, we're definitely going to get into that, you know, for right now. Um, I hope you guys are excited about it, about this. I mean, uh, again, we're giving you uh, seven years of experience. Um, oh, uh, back up. If you don't know, we've done um, we've done uh, Pressy Poe and Friends since 2019. Um, it, it, get, it gets bigger and bigger and as far as like scale. But but it's really important for us to keep the numbers really low. Um, we we for that event, we, we only sell 150 tickets so it's a super intimate event and we've had help me out but we've had sam via at that event we've had rebecca taylor obviously we've had presley um we've had uh, uh sam via we i said sam oh. i said sam um why well, is he the first one that pops in my head every time <laughs> I, well it's because you know with sam man it's you know it's the sam man you did say sam i did say sam uh i just love sam i, I mean who doesn't i know but even on that like like that that came about because of the relationship that we have with Sam. Exactly. You know, and, so, so, and after the show, we have a better relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Well, and for us, you know, which is also going to be important for you, the person putting on the events is, you know, knowing your funnel, knowing the end goal. And for us, it was, you know, to really taking care of the artists and all the stuff that they do and how much time that they put into their education that they're sharing with you. Mm -hmm. They really, we want them to feel super spectacular. But And then the brands, we are, you know, a little selective about who we work with because we yeah. want them to you know as you said it's all about the relationships and there are brands that just want to give so much to the attendees and and also take care of the artists and you know those are the people we want to be working with and then of course the attendees like that's who are you know well, site the, is at, set at the on. end of the day i'm going to stop mm -hmm. you because this is this is kind of this is my passion thing right like yeah and the conversations that we have is is always like how what's if the attendees are the funnel, how is it affecting the the, the attendees? And and uh, anyone that's done our show, um, they'll can uh, attest that we, um, as far as artists go, that that we take really good care of them. And you know, we they don't work their. T I mean, they do work hard. Let me back up. But it's not like a hair show where they're doing fifty models in a day. You know, normally they're doing one or two models for the day. We take really good care of them, or at least you know that's the goal to take really good care of them because the more relaxed they are, the more fun that they're having, the better they'll deliver. For for the attendees and because this is such a small pressy poem and friends because it's a small and intimate event we want to make sure that that their headspace is exactly um on point so when it's time to deliver they understand and the attendees also understand that so again our funnel is always what is the effect what is how do we impact the attendees at, at these things because i don't when you go to the big hair shows you know that's all about the brands that's all about being in the room with the brands that's why everybody's music is louder than the last person's music it's about getting that attention and we we, we kind of wanted to say hey brands let's do this a little bit differently you know let's do this a little bit differently and let's really really double down and focus down on the attendees and at, as far as i'm concerned like 
the type of event and the, the education that we're bringing and, and, and the way that we we're doing our events, I, I think that the, the, the tickets are, are, are mega cheap, you know, like, um, I think our average ticket last year was like 250 bucks and, you know, you get to hang out, spend time with the artist and, 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 and all that. But I don't want to make this a Pressy Poe, um, uh, 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 advertisement commercial, or, uh, commercial, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, but also, you know, understand and, and, and give us the grace that, that this is, this is the one that we've done and we've done it. This is our flagship show. We're doing more, more and more shows now, but this is our flagship show and we'll refer to it a lot because it's what we know, you know, and we're just going to kind of teach you or, or not teach you, but, you know, tell you how we've done it and all that stuff. And so, with it being on kind of a, um, intimate level, it could be, shrunk down and it also could be blown up so it's For a sure. it's a really good um numbers yeah with with we could scale either way up. right yeah exactly That's exactly awesome. so it's a great starting point so if you're excited we're excited yes. um we're going to try to keep these really short we're thinking like 10 minutes or so mm -hmm. um uh, uh katie will uh, try to keep me on that because i'm not really good at that but uh but think of it as like a bullet point approach to to, to creating a show um and also you know we'll also be open to uh to conversations as well although i'll, I'll send you to katie may hair on instagram and dm her there or hair industry hosts or hair industry host. Yeah, uh, message us with questions yeah, or sure. anything that you want to know, anything coming up that you think of. If you listen to an episode and you have an idea or something, just message or even us. Questions, you know, just questions, one hundred percent. Yeah, we really want to help you all and answer anything you've got. That's awesome. So if you're excited, we're excited. We're going to get into this. So uh, tune in again next week. Um, next week, and when we talk more, you know, event stuff. Love it. See ya. Bye. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, share it with friends. Give us a rating and drop a review. To listen to all the latest podcasts, please subscribe from your favorite podcast outlet. And to stay connected on and off the show, you can follow us at Hair Distry on Instagram and all other social media platforms. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Peace and love.